Let's write the formula for acetylene. This is also called f thine. So we'll write the chemical formula for acetylene, and then we'll write the structural formula for acetylene. When you look at the name acetylene, you really can't tell what the chemical or structural formula will be just from the name. This is an older name, so it's not really a systematic name, but it is the preferred IUPAC name. So you'll hear this quite often. The more systematic name, that's ethyne. So let's build out from ethyne, and then you'll know what the formula is for acetylene as well. When you see YNE at the end of a name here, YNE means that you have an alkyne. And with alkynes, we have triple bonded carbons bonded to other carbon atoms or hydrogen atoms. Eth, that tells us that we have two carbons. So we're only going to have two carbons and there's going to be a triple bond. That would look like this. So in this case, we're done. This is the structural formula for acetylene, also called ethyne. If you wanted to write the chemical formula or the molecular formula, that's just two carbons. And then these lines right here go to a hydrogen. So two hydrogens. So C2H2, that would be the chemical or the molecular formula for acetylene. If we wanted to look at a molecular model for acetylene, that would look like this. And you can see that because of that triple bond there, this is a linear molecule. Everything is in a straight line here. So that's the formula for acetylene, also called ethyne. It's the simplest of the alkynes. You can have a carbon with a triple bond. You can't have anything simpler. You need two carbons in order to have a triple bond. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.